Hi guys, welcome to another video. Today I'm just going to be teaching you the basics of the alto, if you're an alto saxophone player. This thing is a... The normal saxophone for a starter, when you start out as a kid, it's about the size of a fifth and sixth grader, and you can even be able to play the saxophone, the alto, when you're grown up. Yeah. Basically, I'll teach you some basics. So, embouchure. Embouchure gets really important on this thing. Uh, also, if you have braces, I'm sorry, uh, because it might be a little painful, especially after you get your braces tightened. Yes. Okay, so what you're going to want to do with your saxophone is you're going to want to do this. Make sure this, your lower lip is tucked in like this. Then make sure you fight down with the top teeth softly, not too hard. Also, make sure your top teeth is hidden like this. So, that's your embouchure. So, the results of not making an embouchure can be squeaking. Also, some other problems like you may not sound right mm. but if you're making the right embouchure and um you're playing the notes but doesn't sound right you might have to t take it in the shop it might have a leak or need an adjusted pad so anyway here we go so Fun fact about band. Band can help you learn subjects like math, like trombone. It, I'm pretty sure trombone helps you m with measuring. Also, band helps you with counting. Yeah. Mostly counting, actually. But, yeah. So... Here's what you will need if you're going to join 5th, 6th, 7th, 8th grade band. You'll need an essential elements book, which you can get from a Ted Brown or a music and art store. So anyway, here's a scale, which is called a C major scale. <laughs> teach you the first five notes g is your first note all buttons on the top are pressed but on the bottom no notes no keys are pressed down on the bottom it's just this also i don't mean literally all the keys on the top no palm keys just these three keys so this is what G should sound like. A is um, basically G, but without this button. Which is our second note. And our third note is B. So it's just this key. But if you want to do our fourth note, you'll switch to the middle finger. You press down your middle finger on your left hand. 
always put your right hand on the bottom and your left hand on the top. Use your middle finger on the um, left hand and you'll get a C. And now our final note. The bottom and top keys are all down. Like one, two, three, four, five, six. So this is the fifth note, and this is how it should sound. And if you want to play all those five notes in a scale, it should sound like this. Also in half notes, I'm playing them in half notes. So, if you have trouble counting, here's, you can easily get a metronome or practice really hard counting. So this is how fast regular notes go. One, two, three, and four, and. So one. Also conducting. I'm pretty sure this is one. One, two, three, four. Such so if. You're in band and you go to a concert, yes, they tell you that, yes, you go to concerts in fifth grade band, yes. In sixth and seventh and beyond that. So your conductor should go like this. One, two, three, four. Then he'll, he or she will keep making that same movement, which keeps you on track on rhythm yeah so if you go to a concert i would recommend looking up at your band director like kind of glance up some from time to time to make sure you're on rhythm rhythm and yeah so i'm gonna teach you hot cross buns so basically hot cross buns is the first three notes only. So it starts from note three to one. So it goes B A G B A G G G G A A A B A G. So anyway, I'll put the sheet music for hot cross buns. Credit to essential elements. So anyway, here we go. So B A G. about to end the video so anyway yeah make sure you have a great day um just practice try to practice for at least maybe 30 minutes 10 to 30 minutes maybe even 5 or 15 to 30 minutes i don't know uh was good for you, you know, what you're able to do so yeah that's just a little tutorial on the saxophone the alto i hope you have a great day so make sure to like maybe if you want to subscribe and i hopefully We'll make more tutorials on the alto sax. All right, so that's it. Bye, everyone.